Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be working on the Automation Age. Alright guys, and welcome. We are going to get started today. I have a few things I want to get done right off the bat. First of all, let's put our ring of magnetization in here. I did get rid of the bag of holding, the gold bag. There is some issues with it. It's deleting my items. Um, I'm, I keep having to uh, respawn my... Or I cheat in my wrenches. And I had to cheat in my drilling mine arguments because it deleted them. That's not cool. Um, yeah. And I don't, I guess we have even them out. Okay. Oh well. I have a bunch of cooked broccoli. Um, but yeah, it's deleting it. So I'm going to try this bag. Um, it's a little bit smaller. And actually, you need this bag to make the bag of holding. But uh, the bag of holding is kind of bugged. At least when it comes to a server. Um, so we're going to get into RF tools. And it's going to put us in the automation age when we craft what we're about to craft. But uh, I was also looking at the staff of traveling. I think this will be really easy for us to make. And uh, it's not going to be like that difficult. We need a soul file. Which we have one. And I want to get this done. Like we can do this right away. Like it's dark I think. Yeah it's dark. Let's go Enderman looking or Enderman searching. Like there's an Enderman right here. <clears throat> so... Let's just find this guy, capture him. Hopefully, we don't get blown up by a creeper. At least there was an Enderman over here. It looks like he despawned. I guess. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for an Enderman um, just so we can catch this guy. That's why having this jetpack is actually pretty nice. You can fly up pretty high. Those all despawned. <laughs> it's not really helping with. Uh, or search here. Can't find any Enderman. Um, you know, I could just go to the end, but that's actually a pretty decent travel for us. Um, this actually uses a bit of energy, but I'm not too concerned with our power loss because we have that giant jetpack on us. I didn't hit the tree. We could probably actually fly pretty high. Let's see. Bunch of sheep. Not what I want. Enderman. All right, I'm not seeing Enderman. All right, so we can fly a decent speed with his pack, uh, with his jetpack on. Trying to see if we can't get some Enderman to spawn here. Knowing my luck, that just it won't happen. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah, it usually doesn't. Uh, all right, we're back at our base, so more than likely we're not going to get anything to spawn here. But I'll I'll keep an eye on them on for or keep an eye out on them. Um, definitely, I'll probably go to the uh, end here shortly, anyways, because I need to go get the Ender uh, Dragon Egg along with a few other things. So I'll definitely check on that. But we can start on uh, RF tools. I thought we might be able to get a you know let's take the Soul Vial and put it in our bag. Never know when you might need that. And we also need let's make some more. We can make a couple more, because if we see a witch too, I kind of want to... Oh, I guess we don't have enough fused quartz. That can be an issue. Oh well. We can make a mushroom too, with a cow in there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, they're used for a bunch of things. Okay, let's get into RF tools. Um, Because that's what we're going to need to make. We're going to need to make this guy. Machine frame from RF tools. It's going to require some empowered palace blocks and some other stuff, along with end rods. Um, end rods are a thing we're going to need. Let's just uh, go ahead and get that out of the way. So going to the end, teleporting to the end is going to be essential for us. Um, we're going to need a way to teleport. So really, um, the first thing I would like to start working on is getting teleportation. So getting a matter, tele or matter transmitter and a matter receiver, or uh, just a matter receiver, um, if you place this block anywhere in the world, then you can dial to it using the dialing device. Before teleporting to this block, make sure to give it power. So if we put this in the world and we make a charged porter, which this is kind of expensive, the matter receiver, but the charge porter, that's actually pretty cheap. Um, this will allow us to teleport to the receiver without using the dialer. So we could technically have a matter 
receiver in the overworld and one in the end and we could teleport back and forth using uh, two different charge porters I'm guessing the matter transmitter if you place this block near a dialing device then you can dial to it or you can dial it to the matter receiver make sure to give it sufficient power use the destination analyzer okay use a matter booster adjacent to the block so it'll be able to teleport to unpowered receiver use a matter booster adjacent to this block to be able to teleport to unpowered receiver hmm so a matter boot a matter booster but that's something expensive as well um actually destination analyzer so some machine this is actually kind of expensive because you have to have a machine chassis. Uh, luckily, I made some uh, machine chassis because I knew we were going to be getting into this today. So I made some of those so we won't have to make those. But of course, we've made those before. It's like each tier is stepped up. So first thing we had to do was make an iron casing. And then the next tier was to make a sturdy casing. Um, of course, we had to make a base capacitor. Now we're going to use that to make our next tier to get into age six. So it's just uh, progressively getting more difficult in the craft so it's just a lot more steps but uh, luckily I, I got some of those in rods so it's pretty good that I got those okay so let's go ahead and get our electrical steel palace machine in rods okay electrical steel um, we need four of those in rod and we're gonna need palace the empowered version three of those and what was the last thing the machine chassis there we go hopefully that's everything we need we also need a bucket of dis distant or distant uh, I can't even pronounce it nutrient distillation um, so we're gonna need one of the cells you don't have to use a cell I just use a cell as a bucket it actually works quite nice as a bucket and uh, I like the way it looks so let's grab a whole bucket of nutrient distillation put it inside of our carpenter um, looks like it ate it where did our nutrient distillation go let's remove this recipe okay we can put everything we need in here already let's try that again Oh, we have it in us. Why? Oh, I placed it. Why is it doing that? That's not what I want it to do. Huh. That's not what it should be doing. Okay. So... It's not placing the nutrient distillation there using the cell. It is, but it's opening up the UI. Are oh, we gonna have to put nutrient distillation in the carpenter? Or let's see, at forest. I guess we can eat, finally use that beeswax. Let's see, bees. I don't have it on me. I gotta go get it. Um, beeswax, uh, you can make, like, fluid storage containers for forestry using beeswax. Um, let's get some, well, I'll take that. Let's get some beeswax out of here. I'm pretty sure you can use it as a way to make, uh, containers. Like, buckets. To use for it's used for these wax capsules. Okay, how much is the wax castle or castle? Uh, what's that called? Wax caster hold. Or capsule, wax capsule. There we go. Okay, this is difficult. Why so difficult? I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> that is the question. Alright, let's do RF 
tools. Nutrient distillation. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get this thing started. Um, I was having a little bit of difficulties. Um, it looks like it's working now. I broke the block, replaced it, and it's working. It actually voided off stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's a server issue. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about taking it back off of the server. I'm having a lot of issues with it running on a server. Of course, there's not much support for it being on a server. That's why there was no like server file actually made. Um, so it being on a server, I just wanted it to basically run overnight, but I can leave my client running if need be. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got it, got it set up now. Um, so hopefully this will work. Um, I'll put all of the stuff that I need back in here and we should be good to go. Um, let's check it out. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make this thing. Oh, I just noticed, why is there two different recipes? That are both the same. That's weird. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> We're gonna get our machine frame. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but, uh, you know, all in all, we got what we wanted. Okay, so let's throw it down and we'll enter our new age. Sweet, we're in age six, automation age. Awesome, and we got a new trophy. Let's go ahead and find a spot for this trophy. Oh, right here is okay. Sweet. Look at all of our sick trophies. Okay, um, we got this thing. We can use it for a few machines. We can start making crafters. Um, it's not going to be too useful for me at the moment. Um, I'm thinking about doing the setup. I did see a video of a automated crafting setup, but it just doesn't seem like something that I really want to do. So there is storage with RF tools, but I like this storage better than RF tool storage. So I'm going to stick with Ender IO. Um, it's not that much different, to be honest. Ender IO does have its own block storage capabilities, but it's, uh, you know, it's just as good as RF tools, ex you know, except for they have the crafting stuff. Um, so my main thing I would love to get is the matter transporter, the matter receiver, uh, the dialing device. Uh, we'll need a destination, destination analyzer if we plan on doing that. Um, a few other things that might be useful. Now we have access to these redstone things. So machine base turns into all these so we can make these little things with redstone, like a redstone, res or a redstone receiver and a redstone transmitter. So we can have wireless redstone, which is awesome um, for stuff. Uh, but yeah, the main thing I would like to get into is the matter transceiver. And this stuff starts to get incredibly difficult. <laughs> so we're going to need the do... Uh, the dew of the void bucket and to get to the dew of the void buckets we need grains of Pez Pezzily uh, Pezality Pezality or something like that and then uh, grains of the end these are both different things it requires nutrient distillation on one side to get this stuff so we'll need that um, we need the pulsating crystal for this side and this one is a ender crystal which the ender crystal requires enderman so that's pretty difficult all in itself um, both of these require different things remember I said I wanted a travel a staff of traveling well it requires one so uh, both of them require two different things this is a rod of return from ender IO returns the user to a telepad synced with the with a tele or sync with a telepad using shift right click requires RF and do of the void. Fun. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need before we even get started with anything is getting some do of the void. Um, so to get that, we need another. Um, what is it called? Ender IO. Vat. That's what's called. It's called the vat. We're gonna need another vat. Okay, so two fluid tanks. Simple enough for that. And we're just going to hook it up next to our other vat. So it should be that big of a deal. One cauldron. Okay. And I think we have everything but a furnace. 
perfect, and we can get this thing. Uh, oh, no, we need electrical steel, which is iron. Iron and some silicon. And I think the powder, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out. Yes, coal powder. Should we have a bit of coal dust? We're gonna need a bit of electrical steel anyways. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this in here so we get a bunch of electrical steel. It's used for a lot of recipes. Um, so we're gonna need it anyways. But we need two relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and get one. And this one's almost done. Now the vat, that's gonna be a difficult. We're gonna have to go to the end for sure. I'm gonna need to make some more fused glass. So we're gonna need some more quartz. So we'll do that. Let's get our vat made up. Awesome. Um, our vat will go here. Uh, honestly, the vat doesn't even need this power cable anymore connected to it. Let's get rid of you. Thank you. And we can just hook power right under here. Hooked it straight to the line. So we have conduit. That's older energy conduit. Let's go ahead and put this conduit back up. You have access to go under. Sweet, there we go. And it is actually right here is where we need to go. Okay, so let's get this hooked up. Just like that. Then we can go back up. And hook in. I think it's hooked into the power currently. Is it? It's getting power, for sure. And right, we gotta go back down. We gotta connect it to the other side. And it's just a lot of digging under here. But there is a vat right under here. Yes. All right, so let's just get this across and we should be ready to rock and roll. Awesome. That vat is hooked up and ready to go. Now we gotta hit some of the items that we need. Um, so now that we have the vat, we can get nutrient distillation in here. Um, looks like the power is not increasing too fast. Oh, accepts 20 RF tick. Okay. All right. Uh, the void of the, okay. RF tools. So we need this stuff. This other stuff we can worry about later. We're going to need some ender crystals. So I do need to worry about those. How many ender crystals do we need? Okay. What does this require? The advanced machine. Advanced circuits, frequency, basic, a glass cable. It's all pretty simple stuff. This is actually a pretty simple thing to make, the te that teleporter. Okay. Everything else, we need a staff of traveling, which requires the ender crystal. What's this staff? Okay, pulsating, electrical steel. Okay, not too bad. The teleporter blocks, they require ender crystals in themselves. Okay, so we need four, eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, and this requires eleven. That's one bucket of that. So 12, 13, 14. We need 14 soul vials with intermittent in them. So, quartz. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of soul vials. Oh, man. Soul vial it up is what we're gonna have to do. And then I'll just have to go to the end. That's going to be the only thing. So teleporting to the end is what I want to do. It's going to take some time to do this. So awesome. Let's uh, let's get this. I think that we can put some nutrient distillation 
here now. Okay, so it actually accepts it. It just... I was having some difficulties earlier. That was preventing me from doing that. Okay, do we have anything that we can make right now? Alright, we have the matter transmitter that we want to get. Um, we could probably make the teleporter. Um, I think I have enough of the advance. I just need to make this, which is crushed diamond. Okay. Silver dust. So this is crushed diamond and redstone. So we need four diamonds. Four diamonds. Crushed. That'll give us that dust. And what else do we need? Alright, we need... This frequency... We're missing copper. Thought we had a bunch of that. I guess not. But we will now. Alright, there's our diamond. We'll go ahead and make the glass. Pretty simple here. Making this uh, glass cabling silver, we need silver. Just a couple. Just two dusts. Oh, I did make a bunch of copper cabling. Nope, that's actually done, so we can go ahead and take the silver dust. Okay, we should have everything to make that. Make this guy now. And we should have everything to make this. Okay, let's get a bunch of these. And... Should be able to make this guy. Okay. Mm, everything else we should have, right? Come on. Okay. Advanced. Our advanced circuits. What else was it? There's a lot of crafting. <laughs> I gotta say, the crafting is crazy. Okay, advanced machine block. And the glass cabling. This guy. And what else was there? A diamond. One diamond. Awesome. And we got ourselves one of the teleporters. One of the pieces to that. Okay. Um, so we have a matter transceiver that we're trying to make, but also the matter receiver. Um, so I'm trying to th trying to think of how to use this because the matter transceiver will let us go to the receiver, but how do we get back to the transmitter? It allows you to teleport to a previously set matter receiver. So we don't actually need a transmitter, right? Wrong, right? I'm not sure. We're going to make both of them, though, I guess. Why not? But I think we're going to have to make more of this stuff anyways later on. Um, the teleportation blocks. Uh, we're getting... We're, we're working on fuse quartz right now. Um, we need to make probably more of this. More than what we have. Let's see. We need... Uh, 
soul vials. A bunch of them. That's not enough. Not enough. Okay, more fuse quartz. Uh, quartz. So I'm going to get a bunch of quartz made up. I'm going to work on this, and I'll be back uh, probably at the nether um, so we can get some uh, endermen. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so we are in the end. Let's go ahead and get our soul vials out and ready. We're just gonna be capturing a bunch of Endermen. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, ow, the bees hurt, man. All right, we're just gonna capture away, capture as many as we can because we need a lot of them, apparently. Um, just hopefully their buddies don't uh, mind them just disappearing. Man, where did Fred go? He just disappeared. I haven't seen him in like three days. Yep, that's uh, that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> oh, ow, angry. Let's not do that. Making that awful sound. What is this? Tungsten ore. Wonder what that's used for. I do love these Ender lilies, though. There's a bunch of Ender lilies down here. So if we wanted Enders or Ender Ender pearls, we could do that. But we have a ton of Ender pearls. By the way, I'm gonna get this egg. Um. There is one after us. I wonder where that guy's at. Ooh, what did that drop? Oh. Um, run out of inventory, inventory space. Let's go ahead and clear these out. Now the bees are actually hurting us. Thank you. Almost done. Almost done collecting. Yep, you're not doing nothing. Let's go ahead and eat. We are gonna die. They are actually punching us pretty good. There we go. Alright, um, we could probably kill some Endermen too and... Ow. Hope for their head. Not Ender Pearls, I want, I want their head. The fall. Yeah, we're not getting too lucky. Um, we are going to need their heads. So doing this is, you know, just part of the job, I guess. So uh, killing them and hoping for their head. Unfortunately, it's super loud. Like, I have their mobs sounds set pretty low. And it's still, still pretty loud. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and, I guess, get the ender egg over down here. And, uh... Probably, I'll probably farm some more of their heads off camera because it does take quite a lot, quite a while. But we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy. Okay, let's set this up like so, and we'll set our piston up, and hopefully we can just grab the egg. We have a. It's not where I wanted you to go. We should be able to... I think I can put it right here, right? That was a bad idea. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, let's see. Can we place it? I don't want to place it up. Quit doing that. There we go. Awesome. Now I can just put a torch... Or put this thing back here. Awesome. <laughs> Super easy. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and farm more of these guys up. I'll probably build a little thing so I can just look at them and kill them all. Um, but yeah. Well, I'll be right back. Alright, so, I'm back. I need to get a few things, uh, set up here. We're gonna need some cells. Um, basically just to get some fluids flowing back and forth. Alright, we're gonna need some crystals. Uh, let's see. Ender I.O. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Um, we're going to need the Staff of Traveling Crystal, this guy. This requires require a Vibrant Crystal, which is Vibrant Alloy around an Emerald. Okay, so Vibrant Alloy, we're going to need that. So Vibrant Alloy Nuggets. And some Emeralds. I did get some Emeralds. We have 27 Emeralds. That will be all current. Okay. We can convert all this. Sure. And we're going to need quite a few of these, actually. To even think about it. We probably won't get the teleportation thing today. But uh, we're going to try to get as many as we can. 
That's only seven. Um, that's okay. Not the best, but uh, it does work. Okay. So we need this with this and six levels of experience. Ooh. Ooh. Forgot about the experience. We do have access to experience, but it's in another dimension. So that just adds to it, so. All right, we're gonna head over here. I don't know how much we're gonna get into uh, this, like RF tools. Like, we, we do need to get into it, but I just don't know how much RF tools we're actually gonna, like, do. So. Because, uh, I'm not too familiar with RF tools. Like, I would love to learn it, but it just looks like so much to learn. Um, it's, it's got its own set of stuff. All right, what was I doing? Okay, back over here. <laughs> getting getting caught up in all the crafting. Okay, so this, let's get, uh, get these guys put in there. Give it the experience that it needs. Make sure to do that. So we're gonna have to sit here and wait for this to get done. Each one of these. But we need one ender crystal. We gotta get the fluid. I want the fluid. So we can't macerate this. We actually have to use the sag mill with flint. Okay. So that works. Um, we could possibly get the uh, staff of traveling. Um, just for our own use without having to put it in this thing, but. Um, let's see, not Ender.io, what am I doing? Let's actually get our heads back in there, there we go. RF tools. Okay, RF tools. Back to this. So, making the dew of the void, we're gonna need pulsating, we're gonna need these, these guys. Do I have any pulsating? Right, that pulsating P-U-L. Uh, not enough for a lot of stuff. But enough to get us one, so we can make one bucket of dew. One bucket of dew, that's it. Alright, so we got our pulsating. We got that, alright, we can put a bucket of nutrient distillation in here. Right? Okay, so we have some nutrient distillation in there. Put these two things in here. I think we're gonna need more nutrient distillation than that. More than that, probably. Don't exactly know how much this needs. Oh, there it went. It needs four buckets of nutrient distillation to make one bucket of the Dew of the Void. So this is new to me. So I've never made this stuff, so I'm not too familiar with it. Um, but we are going to need two buckets, uh, at least just for the matter receiver and two buckets for the other uh, matter trans transmitter. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna have to do. I'll probably end up doing this stuff off camera for the most part. Um, just a lot of stuff to kind of have on here. I have this automatically feeding in, by the way, those two things, because I'm, I'm working on keeping the resources up. So they just automatically feed out of the system um, and keep crafting. So that works for me. So I have to worry about it, it's just as long as it has power and water, which it does, it's good to go. So we have that, that's making that, so Probably get four more buckets. How many buckets I have to say? Three? Four. There you go. Four buckets, and it needs crushed one of these. Ender crystal. And a crushed vibrant crystal. Right? No, pulsating. Pulsating. Crystal. This guy. Okay, so we have that. Actually, I might want to just make a staff traveling um, for this. 
but I would love to have the matter transceiver and receiver up and running. So that'll work out. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, learning a little bit about RF tools and some of the stuff that you're going to need to progress into the automation age, the progression age, which uh, using RF tools can be fun, but uh, man, making these recipes, not so much, um, but it does extend the, the play time of the game. So I'm enjoying like the length of this, like I'm not stuck in one, one like mod, like I'm not going straight to Draconic Evolution almost immediately. So um, that's making this game a lot more fun for me, which, uh, which I'm liking. So. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a good smack on that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.